hi guys welcome back to my channel and i know a long time no see i haven't been posting videos but i just started my sophomore year of college and i have been just extremely busy with balancing work in school but i decided to start like this new series because i know people are like really into like um weight loss journeys and stuff so i decided to start this new series and right now i'm on the keto diet i've been on it um i did two weeks and then i broke it and i'm back on it this is the start of my second week so i've been on it for two weeks and i was gonna start this new series by starting this with like a, a grocery list because man it's like a lot of stuff that you have to get that you probably don't have so i just did like my basic grocery list for keto and i will put a like list version down in the description down below and if there's any like specific things like snacks or specific brands that i like i will put the link with those also but this is just um a basic list to get you started because i had to do some looking and searching so if it's just an all-in-one video like that would be perfect <laughs> i do have a notebook down here that i'm looking at because i went through my kitchen and kind of just looked and seen stuff that i had to get so first to start first to start i started by spices yeah i did uh, my spice cabinet first um, if you don't have pure vanilla abstract, I suggest that you go get that because a lot of stuff that you're making from scratch, like pan like breakfast food, pancakes, French toast, waffles, all that is basically from scratch. So you have to put your own little twist to it. I would say get vanilla abstract and banana or strawberry or whatever like taste that you like. I do vanilla and banana, like banana pancakes and then um vanilla because you need it for a lot of stuff salt not that regular table salt you know you need real salt so like kosher or pink himalayan salt would do just fine chicken broth or bone broth i would say this just because um of your sodium levels like you will get lightheaded and stuff and drinking that really does help because you get headaches you get your first few weeks on keto like you get headaches the keto flu is real i went through it my first time and i could not handle it so that's why i ended up breaking my first time i was sick i was like hey and i did not feel good at all and that's why i ended up breaking my first time for a bag of chips and after i ate those bag of chips i was feeling pretty good <laughs> but no this time uh i think a few days ago i did get like a really bad headache and i was really lightheaded and i just drank some broth and almost immediately it was um it was gone oils you can't use that vegetable oil none of that i suggest that you get cooking oil and olive oil and those type of oils i like olive oil but um you can't cook it at like high temperatures so i suggest you get olive oil not olive oil you get coconut oil or like avocado oil or something like that so you want to get like if you like sauces like um mustard and stuff i suggest you get like low carb low, no sugar stuff like that mustard barbecue sauce etc i just learned that um teriyaki sauce panda express teriyaki sauce has so many carbs in it because i was going yesterday i was cooking pork chops in the crock pot and i was going to use it and then the carb count was like no you're not so i decided not to use that one use um and sugar you can't use baby sugar um so just find some low carb sugar i use the dot the great value at walmart you can find it at walmart i think it's like sylvia no it's not sylvia i can't remember the name of it but i'll put it probably put it right here but um yeah just just get that it doesn't matter what brand just no carb sweetener you gotta need it um milk you can do either or i do coconut in the can and then coconut like just regular coconut milk you can do almond milk i'm not a huge fan of almond milk i pretty um i'm not so intolerant so my mom has put me through all the milk trials and stuff and i just i didn't like almond milk it tastes like butt but if you like almond milk girl go for it <laughs> go get you some almond milk flour can you use that processed flour some people say either or, but I say you need both. You need coconut flour and you need almond flour. They're both expensive. Like, don't don't go on this diet if you cheat because 
almond flour by itself i just bought another bag it's 11 dollars by itself coconut flour is a little cheaper i forgot where i got my almond flour from but my almond flour is from walmart and my coconut flour is from walmart and my almond flour was like 11 almost 12 dollars and the coconut one walmart i believe has like its own brand so i got that for six dollars but it's still pretty it's pretty steep in your pocket that's 16 17 dollars alone just for flour um protein powder i said she get protein powder because um it's gonna be hard to meet your micros like especially like in protein so just to give you the extra boost like with a smoothie or something i suggest that you just get a little whey powder to mix into your food to mix into your smoothies i mean it's not a necessity but i would just suggest that you get it to help you out with meeting your micros Heavy whipping cream I need for almost everything, pancakes, desserts, everything. So I suggest you get one of those big ones. Now those small ones, one of those big ones, and those can be also a little costly. I think because the first time I got mine from Target, it was costly, but um, you can get it from Walmart. I like shopping at Walmart and Artists for all of my things. You can do Whole Foods. That's a little more expensive, or if you want to find like specific things, you can do Whole Foods. But Walmart and Artists they um they help they help me out and they get they get my goal get me to my goal fruit fruit pineapples bananas that's out the window now out the window you cannot have that at all like just don't even when you first starting don't even tip yourself don't even be like oh if i have a little chocolate um it'll be okay if i have a little this it'll be okay don't even do it because you're gonna fall if I have one chip, it'd be okay. Now you three bags in with, and you boot one everywhere. Don't, don't do it, especially when you're just starting. Don't even do it. Don't even try, try to do it <laughs> because, trust me, uh, you would just end up falling back on the wagon. Frozen fruit like strawberries, blueberries. I suggest you just keep a bag in there for your smoothies. Fresh fruit I would use for my food. Frozen fruit I would use for my um for my smoothies. You get the same nutrients because when they freeze it, they freeze it at the peak. So you still get the same nutrients. And it would kind of give your smoothie a different texture because I have a problem with like watery smoothies because I just use almond milk or coconut milk and I have the fruit and I might put a scoop of um low carb or just low carb Greek yogurt in there. Now, I kind of did this for like the refrigerator freezer section. So like things that you need, like in your refrigerator, eggs. You need eggs. You need a lot of eggs. This two like what was this? Two week, three week period. I've used over twenty four, twenty four going on thirty six eggs. I have bought. It's actually been more because I've bought those big ones. And I went through all of those and I actually used 12 eggs and a casserole that I made. Plus, I used another car and I had to go to the grocery store and buy some more eggs. I bought 24 more eggs. So, let's see how long that lasts us. Um, cream cheese. Oh, my God. Until now, I never noticed how good cream cheese is. And I suggest that you get you tons of cream cheese. Like, it's not that expensive. Go get you, like, eight yes eight go get you like eight things of cream cheese like those blocks i like the blocks versus the other ones but if you like the other ones get those but i like the blocks better and they come in eight ounces a piece but i love the blocks i just literally made me some delicious cream some um cheesecake so i'm probably going to be doing that recipe with you guys soon because i am like on like this little small piece and it's, it's super good super good and um it's just oh, it's so good i can't wait to make it for you guys any deli meat if you like ham turkey just just check um just check the back make sure that it's not like try to stay away from like that sweetened but you don't have to just try to keep your carbs as low as possible um i like ham so i just give up ham i'm not a fan of turkey it's like i don't know i don't like turkey it's too wet but i like ham so yeah any deli meat that you like um, or those like those already made salmon that you just can cut a piece, maybe eat it with a, um, a a chip or something. You can also do that, or just eat it by itself. Just heat it up. I like uh, I like the salmon one, but heat it up, eat it, and you're good to go. 
you know, just your normal onions, peppers, season your food, spinach, and then a uh, low carb yogurt. So we're gonna go to your meats. I this list is pretty short, like it's pretty basic because you're like you're starting out, you're seeing what you like. So I would do chicken. I'm a chicken breast type of person, but not everybody likes um, chicken breast. You can also do thighs. Just remember, chicken breast gives you more, way more. If you get those real chicken breasts from like Walmart and stuff, those really big ones, they give you way more protein. So watch out for that if you already like high in your protein for the day. But if you're not, then you might want to get that. Or you can get chicken thighs, which are a little bit smaller. It really doesn't matter. Um, I love salmon, yo. I love salmon. I love salmon before this, but during this, I love salmon. Like if I just don't want to cook or something, I really throw some salmon and um, asparagus, throw some seasoning on it, put it in the oven, come back, eat it. So good, but you do have to switch it up. <laughs> you do have to switch it up. Italian sausages. I just got some Italian sausage. I seen like this really nice prep bowl that I'm probably going to show you guys as I prep it. Um. This nice, you know, prep bowl that you can prep throughout the week, you can prep for your lunch. And so I'm going to incorporate some entire sauce into that. And then get seafood. I like shrimp. I cook with shrimp. Um, crab, I'm not so sure. You might have to look that up. But I cook for shrimp. So if you like seafood and stuff, throw a little, treat yourself. Throw a little something on there. Lamb. Lamb is super good. But babe, lamb is super expensive. For one small one that was like about that big, it cost me like $20. So you if you be balling like that you go get you some lamb but if you not occasions maybe a birthday you know you go crazy on your birthday but other than that you know lamb stay at the stove <laughs> and then ground beef you know any ground beef hamburgers meatballs if you real big ground beef person you like hamburgers and stuff for the family it's super easy to cook the only thing is you just can't have a little bun so you make your nice little lettuce burger and you'll be okay <laughs> lettuce ain't never hurt nobody and it's actually really good um i never noticed how much i love lettuce <laughs> i love lettuce with like ham put some mustard on it roll it up with some tomato it's so good it's so good side now my side list is not like super big because i literally eat the same sides <laughs> so don't you can experiment with sides but normally i have the same thing with my meals but you can get cauliflower. You can do so much with cauliflower. You can make cauliflower rice, mashed cauliflower to substitute mashed potatoes. Potatoes is a no-no. Um, and just eat it straight up with cheese. I love that. Uh, broccoli with cheese. Um, seasoning, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts. And that's literally all I eat for sides. But if you can think of some other sides, search it up. See if it's keto friendly, and go on ahead for it. Snacks. <sighs> snacks. As I said you can make like you can make snacks or if you just want some snacks that are already made pork rinds pork rinds i don't know they're like they're like so when you chew them they're so light and airy that it tastes like you're chewing good air that's how i describe eating them <laughs> like good air and i just bought one of those big ones for like seven dollars at walmart and actually barbecue flavor i didn't know but you can also use that as like um a crusted batter for your chicken tenders or your chicken nuggets Again, I'm gonna show you guys when I make it. I'm gonna show you, and that's why I bought it so big. But then I started, you know, testing them out, eating them, and they were actually pretty, pretty good. Um, Quest chocolate chip cookies. My sister, she was also on keto. She loves them too. So like, don't even just like, oh, she she likes it, so we gotta go. She um was on keto too. She absolutely loved them, and they're like they're so good. Like I love them too. <laughs> they're so good. Um, Quest chips. I only had the cheddar and cream ones, and they were pretty good. And whips, whips. I think that's the name of it. They have chips and stuff. I will say that keto, like, I'm just gonna speak on one type of chip. Keto, like cheese, like you know, cheddar cheese chips and stuff like that. It is gonna be a little different for you because. It does not have all that artificial stuff and it has like real cheese and it's really really rich like it's like a rich like with whips i can't i don't like i bought like the three pack i'm gonna put it down in the description the one that i got and i absolutely did not like any of them by themselves i ate the cheese ones with like tuna another snack is tuna you can eat tuna i make it myself 
and stuff like that. I eat I eat it so that um throughout the week just meal prep. But I can I have to eat it with that and stuff. And now it has become like a natural thing for me to look for in my tuna and it's it's good like that but by itself I cannot eat them by itself but the quest ones I actually can't eat by itself. So just be aware of that and then it's tons of snacks that you can make yourself. The mini brownies I'm gonna be exploring with those and you know bring it to my channel making it with you guys but the little um mug brownies i haven't found a good one because the one that i did make it's just like dirt and baking soda so we're not gonna do that recipe again but that one yeah real life just like dirt and baking powder but i've seen some other ones that i did want to try and that i will be trying soon and the last but not least are nuts i hate all nuts I'm not going to lie. I don't really like nuts. They're trifling to me. And I don't like them. But, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Step out your comfort zone. But I did learn. I didn't learn. But, like, I like macadamia cookies. So I just assumed that the nut was going to taste like the cookie. It doesn't. It doesn't. But it's not terrible, though. It just doesn't taste like the cookie. So I made cheesecake. And I used, instead of the graham crackers, I used the macadamia nuts. I crushed them up. And I use that as the bottom and it's so good. Like I cannot wait to make it for you guys. But that is the end of my little what to get out the grocery store when you're first starting keto. If you guys have any suggestions for videos or even any suggestions that you might want to help other people out for things that I might have forgot on here. That um yeah, because my list is pretty short. Anything that um I might have forgot on my list that you want to tell me about or any keto tricks and stuff that we can help each other out, let me know in the description down below. Look, I'm new to this. Like I don't have I have four months, um, not four months, <laughs> four weeks all together. I'm trying new stuff. I'm trying new stuff, trying to fill it out, see how I like it. These two weeks were better than my last two weeks. <clears throat> and it's just because now I'm determined. That's not in my throat. <laughs> I'm determined to finish it out. I'm gonna do it for six weeks. Well, the goal is six weeks minimum, maximum, and going forever. But I'm gonna do it for six weeks because technically the six week mark is kind of when your body gets fat, not fat adapted, but um, fat adapted. That was I was right. When your body gets fat adapted and gets used to using fat as a source, and then once you start eating carbs, it will kind of so you still be burning. You still be burning fat, but not as much. But you be burning a lot of fat. But I just tell me how you like this series. What would you like? Um, I do have a notebook of ideas that I do want to do. So like, obviously recipes, cooking with you guys. I'm not a professional cook, so these videos will be very unorganized. I'm telling you that now. But um, <laughs> videos just my one week this one week not my last one week my last one week how much i lost favorite snacks i gave you a little bit gave you a little sneak peek recipes and what i like to buy myself on keto because i did learn a lot so if you guys have any 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 suggestions let me know put it down in the description and tell me what you guys would like to see so like like comment subscribe bye